So it has to be such a special moment to have your work just be adapted into a limited series starring some of the biggest names in Hollywood. I'm talking with the author herself, Georgia Hunter, from We Were the Lucky Ones. What? What? First of all, what was it like getting this told on screen now? Oh, it's been the most surreal and real experience at once, I guess. Um, I have spent so long imagining what the story was and you know it takes it's told the story is my grandfather's uh, world war ii holocaust story and it tells this um the narrative of him and his siblings as they scatter at the start of the war and try to survive and also come back together and so uh it took me 10 years to get the book written and lots of interviews and and sort of imagining what it was like for them and so seeing it unfold on a screen with this phenomenal cast and our phenomenal sets and the hair and the makeup and the music. My grandfather was a composer and we used a couple of his real pieces in the show. All of it coming together was extremely overwhelming um, and, and beautiful. And mostly I'm just proud of what we made. It feels like we, we did it justice. You have every right to be proud. I'm so excited for people to see this show and you said incredible cast. We have to start at the top with Joey King and Logan Lerman. What was it like having them play these siblings in the show? Oh, Joey and Logan are incredible. And I spent time with both of them before we kicked off um, on Zooms, answering their questions, sharing any documents or photographs, music, anything that I had that was relevant to Helena and to Adi, the characters that they play. And they were so curious and they had so many questions and sometimes about topics that weren't even relevant to the show or to the book, but that they just wanted to know, like, what were their little quirks and their favorite foods or things like that. So they really dug so deeply into their characters and took it into their hearts in a way that was so moving to me. And it's been such a personal project for me for so long to see them embrace it in the way that I have embraced it. it was really so moving. Um, and just watching them in their performances, I, I'll just say I cried a lot. <laughs> It's such a moving piece. And it's like I said, having your own work adapted, but it's such a personal story for you, your family. What what does your whole family take away from this experience? You know, they're the audience I, I care the most about loving the show. And I know they will. Um, they've been so supportive from the very get go um, since I set off to interview many of them to write the book. And and since then, we have like tripled down on our research. We have a research drive available to everybody across across the show, cast and heads of departments. And so I've been asking them questions for the last three years as we've been making pitching and making the show. And they are so involved and so supportive and excited as we are. And I think, you know, it feels like there's kind of never been a more important time than now to tell these stories and and to remember. So I, I feel a lot of love from them. There are, a lot of them are here in LA for screenings and a lot of them are meeting me in Washington, DC for a screening at the Holocaust Museum, which will be really special. So, and they're flying in from all over the world, which kind of speaks to the support that I feel from them. I love that so much. I'm so thrilled for people to see it this spring on Hulu. We were the lucky ones rolling out week by week. Thank you so much, Georgia. Thank you. So we all know her from Deadwood, Sons of Anarchy, and one of my favorite performances, Big Little Lies. She was this therapist that just comes to light on screen with Nicole Kidman's character. I'm talking with Robin Weigert. She's in the new show, We Were the Lucky Ones on Hulu. So what is this show about? It's about a family that survives the Holocaust. Um, and uh, it's an incredible, true story um, of Georgia Hunter's grandfather's family. So it's ba all based on real people. And what drew you to this role? What an extraordinary mother she is and how the power of her uh, wish for reunion um, influences the story, uh, how, how her uh, conviction that they'll all be together again someday um, carries them through it's a it's a depth of love and a um a tenderness a specificity a ferocity to her that just really spoke to me um i admire the character so much and you play such a great motherly figure in this it's hard though because a lot of your characters you are separated uh there's joey king there's logan lerman's character what was it like even though you don't share as much screen time with them what was it like working with them 
Oh, I wonderful. And I, I wonderful working with every single one of them. That this was the, the most extraordinary extraordinary cast and from three different continents. Um and uh I just couldn't believe in what a short time we felt like a family to me. Um truly like a family. Uh I started the process by writing a letter to each of my children as my character which is unique to this role. I don't sit around writing letters <laughs> uh, as every character I play. But because letter writing was such a big part of how these people reached for each other across impossible distances, even when they had no address to send them to, I thought it would be a good way to connect with that feeling, that longing, that striving. Um, and I think there's something about a letter that feels an awful lot like a prayer when it's in circumstances like this. Praying for your child to receive you, to feel your love, to feel your support. Um, and there's an incredible faith, therefore, without making it a religious faith, a faith that this woman has, that it matters that she is thinking of them, that she is caring about them, that she is attending to them, even in her thoughts and in her heart throughout the whole journey. So I had a really specific version of Logan's character, a really specific version of Joey's character in my heart the whole shoot. Um, and we saw each other behind the scenes and all the rest of it. But... Um, they were sealed in there, and I carried them with me the whole time. As a matter of fact, for for Ganek, um, I there's a there's there's a ring that I kept in my um, bra, um, but close to my heart, um, that uh, was uh, for him. You know, a really specific thing for him. So that when I, it comes time for me to give something to, oh, give this to one of my daughters, it has that particular association for me. Um, I've been giving her that ring that I kept to keep him close to my heart. And 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 I built those things in throughout um, to just maintain a feeling of connection, um, imaginative things that kept me feeling in touch with all of them. It's so beautiful the way you put that and the way you craft this character. I can't wait for people to watch We Were the Lucky Ones on Hulu this spring. Thanks, Robin. Thank you so much. So she's been the producer behind some of the biggest shows like The Morning Show, Bates Motel, Julia. He's directed some of Broadway's biggest shows, Hamilton, In the Heights, Sweeney Todd. I'm talking with Erica Lopez and Tommy Kale. They're together teaming up for We Were the Lucky Ones on Hulu. So what is this show about? Well, this family, I'm uh, sorry, the show is about <laughs> a family. It's about the Quartz family. Um, they're a Polish Jewish family that we meet in um, around Passover of 1938, um, right before the breakout of World War II. And uh, it follows them as they're thrown um, around the world. I mean, the show travels to four continents over nine years as the family is separated and desperately tries to to find their way back together. How? And Thomas, I'll direct this next one at you. It's, we see a lot of these tragic, tragic Holocaust stories and around this time, but obviously the title with this one gives us a glimmer of hope. What was it like being part of this that's actually a powerful story that ends well for the family? Well, you know, this was about a family of five siblings and their parents that somehow uh, made it out. Uh, they're from a town of 30,000 where only 300 lived, just to give context. And that's something that we wanted to uh, make sure that both things were put forth as, uh, you know, as truths and and as uh, as elements for us to be conscious of, even through the, the family getting to the, the other side of the war, there's, there's deep loss. Uh, and there's pain, and there's also this this thing that they found on the other side of it, which was a chance to remember those that were not there and to celebrate what it meant to still to to still be alive. Yeah, and Erica, I'll direct this one to you now. So, what you have these two lead actors who everyone knows, Logan Lerman and Joey King, they're up and coming stars that we've seen grow as they've grown. What was it like working with them? a dream I, you know that those two are um i mean they have so much experience between the two of them they both started as children and they are um 
I mean, they're both the ultimate professionals, but also the most incredible humans. I mean, their talent is, is <laughs> unparalleled on screen, but they, it's really matched by their humanity off screen. Um, and I think we always, Tommy and I talked a lot. Well, this is also just true of Helena and Adi is they were, you know, siblings born on the same day and they were always described as twin souls within the family. And I think with Joey and Logan was sort of some of their shared history of who they are as people. They just have that um, chemistry between them as siblings and understanding of each other that I think it just, I think you see on screen between them. It was a joy. You certainly see it between them. I can't wait for people to see this beautiful show. Thank you both for making it. Make sure you watch We Were the Lucky Ones on Hulu starting March 28th. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So one of this spring's must-see shows is We Were the Lucky Ones on Hulu. I'm talking with two of the stars themselves, Hadass Yaron and Michael Ohlone. So tell us more about your characters. Um, so I play Mila. Um, uh, we meet her in the beginning of uh, the show in the first episode when she just had her first baby so she's a new mother she's dealing with everything that brings along you know she's not finding it easy um and I think it's a, she's a character who's like very used to being in control of her life of her annoying siblings of like everything and then motherhood comes and it's not easy and she's like not in control and then war breaks and so that puts her in a whole new level of not being in control and she's just we meet her in the first episode when she's just trying to do life with that yes yeah we were the lucky ones is uh is a true story off uh based off of georgia hunter's book so um and adopted to a series and it tells the real life story of people of a, of a family that each and every member of this family survived in a different circumstances world war ii and survived the holocaust and the horrific horrible stories that happened to to humankind and they were lucky enough to be reunited all over again and i'm portraying salem Mila's husband, Hadassah's husband, and uh, we are separated in the very beginning. Uh, I go to war, and uh, they lose contact with me, and each and every one goes through uh, the terror of this war until, you know, he's not even able to see his kid that was just born. Um, so it's harsh a story, but it's also a story about love and hope and a human story about the bond of this great family. Yeah. Yeah. And we also have international representation for this kind of show being about yeah. the Holocaust and set internationally. What was that like being a part of that? Mm, I mean, it's an international show brings together international actors from all over the world, great talents and being yeah. all together <laughs> under the same umbrella of Tommy Kale and you know, guiding this ship brings just so much color into it and so much realness into it. So the reality of of telling this true story helped it very much to bring, you know, different actors and, and different, you know, crew members even from all over the world to make this happen. And it's an international story, so it just makes sense that, you know, it crosses continents and, and, and you know, different eras and years. So I think it's just naturally to bring you know, actors from all over the world and bring this to life in, in such a real way. It's just smart to do it this way. I don't know. I'm with you. I'm yeah, happy. Said it, said it perfectly. I can't wait for people to see We Be the Lucky Ones and your great performances. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. My brother, you back from Paris. Look at you. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. I'd like to come to Paris. To future adventures. I will be waiting. My family I keep writing to them over and over. It's like I'm writing into a void. The Germans are already at our doorstep. It's getting worse. All of Europe is a war zone. Let our family be our light. We live tonight. (laughs) 
I just want to get home. You are a Jew. Travel for you is a death sentence. understand the impossibility of getting home, but we will find a way to be together again. We must organize. We've lived here for a thousand years. We know this country, this land. I want to do what you're doing. But if you get caught, it jeopardizes all of us. I'm aware of the stakes. You're my family. We stay together. Always. Faith is a choice. It's an act of will. Our families are out there. For certain is that there's no reason I should be alive, and yet I am. And that means I have to keep going. <laughs> <laughs>